Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, you're not fighting tonight, but I know you're anxious as I am as Conor McGregor returns to the proving ground here tonight. This is the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history and a damn good fighter, too. Let's see what he does here tonight. I have no horse in the race, but the butterflies are kicking my stomach up and down because every time Conor steps into the octagon, it feels like a momentous occasion. Yeah. One of the biggest stars in all of sports, he transcends the sport of mixed martial arts, a guy that has a fantastic left hand. He's very quick. He's a master of, ma of managing distance, managing space, and the speed and the ability, the eyes of Conor McGregor is something that we don't pay enough attention to when we watch him fight. And of course, every time he competes, all eyes are on Conor McGregor, and yet more often than not, he doesn't show up flat on fight night. He rises to the occasion. The Jose Aldo fight certainly mm -hmm. is the one that people will historically talk about, but let's see how it goes in this spot for Conor here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. The Giant! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 16 wins, two losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland! All right, get to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, come off the floor. You ready? So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. When you're in a clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. All right, single collar tie now. Big all punch land. Now he gets back to range. All 
All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, the Superman punch lands. Now connects with the right. I mean, he's cutting it out the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Huge knee lands from the Tycoon. <laughs> Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Muay Thai plump. Watch knees to the body. Both guys appear to land there. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, McGregor's got the tie clinch now. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. So 28 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Real nice body kick lands. Ooh. Dollar tie. Nice. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor. Oh! All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Back to his feet. Beautiful punch. Oh, single collar tie here. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into position where he can get off the strike. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head. And he landed the right hand there. Single collar tie now. What a punch. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, head kick lands on her. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Whiffs on the elbow. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Huge knee land. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. He lands a big knee to the bottom. Horn out for the end of round one. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery <laughs> wet or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. Oh, and he caught the kick. 
And he continues to work the body here. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Caught that kick there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Man, striking classes in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. And he switches his stance yet again. And there comes the separation now. All collar tie. Big kick. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit, finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. All right, he engages in the single collar side. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Right hand punch to the clinch. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And they separate. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pot. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. That one snuck in. Oh! Right. 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 Hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Rips the body there for good measure. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Left hand punch the clinch. Both guys landing big shots. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's going to put him to sleep. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has pulled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Able to check the high kick. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be out. Down the clean. What a fight we got going on here. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Head kick. Straight punch lands. for the spinning kick there, telegraphed it a little bit, no good. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault, and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Gotta be careful here, though, not to gas out. Well, eventually you know he's gonna turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end this They talk about the feeling out process, he's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything, expect counter as we go forward. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like, really, on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack, 
Her ability to let loose at the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. Timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Nice punch lands over the top. What do you do to get out? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, under her. Whoever's double leg takedown and a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. McGregor's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. There it is. Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flu choke here. understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So a seminal moment for this fighter here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Huge victory in his career. And it'll be very interesting to see how they match make him moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 22 seconds of round number three. For the winner, by submission, the Giant! 
Marsha, there he is, all smiles, and rightfully so, after he gets the job done by submission tonight. You told me off the air before the fight that he was going to submit him, and that's exactly what happened. Man. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard, and his opponent is known to lay in the guard. He made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.